hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is jodie and she's coming today for a redesign so i took her previous set off which was baby boomers back down to the clear layer her nails have all grown out now so it's all just her now underneath so she's probably due for a fresh set well i say that it's ridiculous some of my clients um hate it when they as soon as their nails grow to the length like once the tip is gone they like to have a fresh set and some of them just don't care so this jelly she doesn't really care to be fair so um now we're going in with design so this is going to be like a pastely ombre set with different colors so first on the baby we're going in with baby blue these colors are all from cjp the um all the tip colors are from cjp so this is baby blue and then we're going to go on to the ring finger which is orchid I kind of wish I didn't pick Orchid and I picked um, Tooth Fairy. I think it would have gone much better, so I am upset at that. But anyway, still look good. I'm still struggling with Orchid. I'm still struggling to get that. It's quite sticky. You can see, can you even see on camera? I try and watch what I'm doing, but the recording bar gets in the way. But anyway, yes, yeah, so orchid on the ring, finger, and then we are going in with soft lemon on the middle finger. Love soft lemon. Soft lemon's got a slight shimmer to it, just like baby blue has. Um, just really, really subtle, but they are mega easy to work with when they've got any sort of shimmer or glitter to them which is always great right the brush i'm using is my glitter planet size 14 brush at the um magic stick no the aqua brush sorry so on the pointer finger you see me i pick up um orange so it's smashed peach and then changed my mind she was like no we'll go with the um apple shine but now i also kind of wish i put smashed peach on this one but whatever um so this one we're going is just apple shine um so yeah i'm going to do apple shine on the pointer and then the smash peach on the farm and then i'll be back So now we're coming in with our cover pinks. This is not from CJP. This is from Nao Nails and it's called Flawless. Um, probably one of the best acrylic, um, the best acrylics I've ever worked with. Not like the, the texture of Flawless. Like I've got a couple of their other ones and it's not the same. Like it's, it's nice to work with, don't get me wrong. And I do enjoy it. But there's something about Flawless, I've told you before, is amazing definitely try it it is kind of you will look at it and you'll think oh you'll need a deeper skin tone for that but you really don't it goes with any skin tone i think anyway and it it certainly goes well with baby blue i love it with baby blue um so yeah i'm just going to do that on all 
just put a bead at the cuticle area and just try and blend it down I'll always bring back the color and the just put a little tiny bit at the tip and blend it back just to get just to make the color a bit more rather than the the ombre color but do you know what I have been seeing lately and it just uh, it just blows my mind the the glitter now where you put glitter on first and then you put the cover pink over it so then it goes like a milky like the glitter looks like wish like do you know what I mean like what the hell I just can't get my head around that I feel like I need to try it but then I just don't want to I know I'll try it and then just put glitter back over the top who wants dull glitter don't get it I just don't get it I just wanted to say that because we was talking about it earlier what's everyone's opinion on it I just don't I'm just not feeling it at all at all so anyway I'll just let you watch this So then I'll come in my hand file and just shape it slightly, then come in with my e file and just whiz over the surface of the nails, make sure that the cuticle area is lovely and flush. Um, then flip your client's hand around, face it to you and file from that way just to get a lovely crisp shape on it. Um, then comes my favourite part, buffing. Buffer, I'm a buffer. I really want to buff some shoes after doing this, like... You know, like, I've seen people buff shoes, get, like, with a cloth, and then buff them from side to side. Need to, over the knee, I need to do that. I'm going to do it on Emmy's school shoes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> God. Why am I so weird? Anyway, so buff them, and then we'll remove the dust, and we are ready for top coat. This bottle is still going, this top coat, honestly, you really get your money's worth, like, Jesus. 
I don't know how many. Like I've, I haven't even topped it. Have I topped it up? No, I haven't. It is go. It's, I'm having to teal it. Don't get me wrong, but you really get a lot in these gel bottles. So, and I do love this top coat. <laughs> love it. So yeah, just apply a thin layer of that over all the nails. Cure in my LED. Uh, LED lamp for 60 seconds. I'll apply um, some cuticle oil from NAF stuff in. I think I went for. I think she went for strawberry daiquiri. We'll see in a minute because I've left the clip in. But I think it's strawberry daiquiri. Oh hey Mel, I smell. Oh God. Um, yeah, so strawberry daiquiri. Just apply that to all her cuticles and give it a little rub down remember if you want to use um buying cuticles from left cuticle cuticle oil from left stuff to use my code tracy10 you'll get 10 percent off your order which is always great and they are definitely worth it and here's your final results so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye